This is First Coast TV. I'm with? I'm Marsha Fine from Phoenix, Arizona. Okay, and Marsha, what's the reason you're here in St. Augustine today? I am here to speak to the Jewish Historical Society about Sephardic Jews and the trauma they suffered during the Inquisition. Could you define Sephardic Jew for me? Sephardic Jews are Jews who came from the Middle East, from Spain, from Portugal, Morocco, uh, the Ottoman Empire, all of those places. Most people are familiar with Ashkenazi Jews who right. came from Germany, Russia, France, Poland, those places. Right, right. And so um, you're, you're discussing a book you wrote about this. Yes, I am. I have a new novel coming out in 2017 called Hidden Ones, A Veil of Memories, and it's about the Inquisition in Mexico. Oh, wow. And most people are not aware that there was an Inquisition in Mexico. They thought it was just in Spain. Right. However, it was in Spain and Portugal, and they imported it to South America. There were also Inquisition offices in Lima, Peru, Mexico City and Cartagena, Colombia. Okay. Is there a main character in this novel? Oh yes, there is a grandmother who has been arrested for Judaizing during the Inquisition. It is based on an actual case and I don't want to reveal who turned her in, yes. but it is shocking. And uh, how many pages is this novel? Uh, this Most novels are 80,000 words. This one is almost 100,000. Oh, I had a lot to say about this topic. Well, we, so today you're having like a lecture in front of the, historic, the Jewish Historical Society talking about this, this novel and talking about the journey, I guess. Yes, that, that is part of it. However, first I have to give some background information because most people don't know very much about the Inquisition and how far it reached throughout the world, the, the amount of power that Spain had during that time. All right. Well, I thank you very much. This is, uh, we'll stay here a little while and see part of your dissertation in front of the Jewish Historical Society. We thank you for giving us this little bit of time just to talk about these, these, these brief moments that are important to understand what goes on here tonight. Thank you very much, Jorge. I'm delighted to be here. She's a novelist, a humorist, social observer, historical researcher, and an award-winning author and speaker. Marsha Fine has written seven novels, including The Blind Eye, A Sparta Journey, and her soon-to-be-released novel, Hidden Ones, A Veil of Memories, examines conversos in Mexico during the Inquisition. Yes, the Spanish Inquisition was in Mexico and actually here in St. Augustine as well. She's a gifted storyteller and uh, has a penchant for research. You'll see that. Uh, join me in welcoming Marcia Fine. I didn't know any Sephardic Jews, and I didn't know anything about their history, and I started to research, and I found it fascinating. So, the first thing I'm going to do is show you a map, so you can see. This is New Spain, Nueva España, in 1650, and all the green is Spain. You can see Florida over there is green, and most people aren't aware that the Inquisition went all the way into South America. After the Queen Isabella and King Ferdinand ran out of Jews in Europe, they decided to expand across the ocean. Now, a lot of people had already left, but these were the ones who were going to be chased around the world. So because of that, many of them went underground. They had to become crypto-Jews. They, they were hidden Jews, which is the title of my next book. They would um, be Catholic outside the home, but in their home they were Jews. So they had double lives. They were living duplicitous lives. And there's a lot to be said for that. Between 10 and 12,000 new Christians were converted during those big mass conversions. And I had to do a lot of research to find out about the mass conversions. Um, one of the things that's interesting is that when Hitler was put in prison and writing Mein Kampf, he was studying the Inquisition. So he got a lot of his ideas 
for the Holocaust from the Inquisition. In the Inquisition, they wore a yellow circle instead of a yellow star. They wrote down everybody's names, who they were related to, where they lived.